Hi, beautiful people! And for today's content, here na naman. Bibo, ano ba? Nakakailang take na ako, Bibo! Ano? Ano? Ano nakakailang take na ako, Bibo? Nakakailang take na ako! Bibo, nakakailang take na ako! Magandang buhay! This is your lady na driver and now is the time to bring you into the beauty of life. Ready? Let's go! Hi dear beautiful people! And for today's content, buhok na naman ni LRD ang ating pag-uusapan. And before I begin my content, I want to shout out lahat ng colored hair. Hey, sigaw sigaw naman dyan. And ano nga ba ang gagawin na naman sa aking hair? By this time, it's all about Brazilian. So paano nga ba gagawin ang Brazilian? And what are the different procedures on how to do Brazilian? So, kung, kung excited ka ng malaman, ako din. So, tara na. Punta na tayo sa salon. And I'm here at the salon now to um, do the Brazilian in my hair. So, ano nga ba ang procedure at paano ginagawa ang Brazilian? And uh, what is the importance of Brazi doing the Brazilian? Of course, I encourage all the ladies, especially those who have bleached hair, to do a Brazilian at least twice a year. This is very important. Bakit? Especially kapag nababad ang hair mo sa swimming pool or sa beach. Yan ang number one na kalaban ng ating bleach na hair. Bakit? Because magiging weak siya sooner. Kaya kailangan natin ang... Uh, Brazilian. So, ano ba ang aking product na tested and proven na ginagamit lagi ni LRD sa kanyang hair para ma-restore um, aking, um, ang aking uh, pagiging, uh, what do you call this, yung shine ng hair ko and yung kanyang pagiging um, pag-lessen ng weakness nito? It's no other than my trusted product, RE5 Brazilian. The best, okay? Nakaka-treat talaga ng very damaged na hair. Pero, don't expect na gagawin niya in just one sitting, okay? Pagka super damaged ang hair mo, you need at least three sitting para sure na maganda ang maging outcome ng Brazilian. And for now, they will do Brazilian in my hair. So, ano ba ang first procedure? Sige, um, let's do this na, okay? They will going to wash my hair. So they will shampoo my hair at ang gagamitin nila is the number one of RE5 which is the purifying shampoo to remove all the residue, residue and the excess chemical in my hair. So they are starting to shampoo, uh, Tess is starting to shampoo my hair with RE5 purifying. Bakit? Kasi this is the product that can remove the chemical residue sa aking hair para mabilis ang pasok ng number 2 ng RE5 which is uh, the Brazilian treatment niya or the keratin treatment. Hindi pa di matouch ang scalp. Yan. Um, Tess is done shampooing my hair using a purifying shampoo and now blow dry na tayo so it's just 85% and after doing that, okay, of course, sectioning part na. And, sasabihin ko na rin, agad-agad, para mamaya, proceed, ano na lang, application na lang ni Tess. So, um, she will apply the number two in my hair from roots to end, leaving half, um, half inch away from the scalp. Okay? Pero from roots to ends ang application ng Brazilian. Okay? Sige, proceed to application. A few minutes later. Yan. So, for now, 
mag uh, BB4 muna tayo. So, to see the real condition of my hair at makita nyo kung gano'n na siya ka-damage at talagang in-need na to do the Brazilian. So, Tess? Sorry naman, wala sa mundo. Para mas pakita mo yung damaged hair, ayan. So, my hair is not um, good talaga. So, kailangan na talagang hard treatment. And there's no hard treatment or beautiful treatment other than Brazilian. So, that's the number one treatment talaga, especially sa mga hair dye and bleach na hair. So start na ng sectioning para makapag-apply na ng number 2 ng Brazilian. Iba naman style ng hair ko ngayon. Ano na itsura ko niyan? Sino? Oh my, nakita ko yan. And we will proceed to application. And sometimes, kapag na-apply siya, it can cause gandra. Of course, sa mga um, hindi pa nakakaalam, uh, Brazilian, Uy, ang ingay mo, Brazilian contains formaldehyde. Pero um, RE5, is very tolerable. Hindi mataas yung content ng kanyang percentage when it comes to formaldehyde. Bakit may formaldehyde? Formaldehyde um, serves as the preservative. Or talagang yun yung uh, nakakaganda ng hair. The next day. Done na to apply sa back portion ng hair ko. And now, nag-start na siya dito sa side. Healthy yung ano eh. Healthy yung um, aking roots. But when it comes to mid part of it, yung bleach part, yun yung weak. Actually, yun yung damage portion. Bakit, Tess? Ano nga? Kasi matagal na kami hindi na Brazilian and uh, ano yun? Patong-patong yung color. Mm -mm. And then, Swimming pool. Done applying the Brazilian in my hair and we will wait for 45 minutes to 1 hour. Okay lang na 45 minutes. Pero ako, I preferred to stay the medicine in my hair for about 1 hour. And then after that, blow dry ulit. Okay? See you later. One hour later. So, 1 hour is already done. Ayan. The next procedure is 100% dry ang gagawin. Ibo-blow dry na ang aking hair. And then proceed to ironing, okay? Let's do it, Tess! And so, ayan, done na na i-blow dry yung aking hair ng 100% and what's the result? So, blow dry pa lang yan, ha? Without ironing pa. Makikita ko sa inyo the difference between doon sa una, before, and after malagyan ng medicine. So, ganito ka-powerful si RE5 na kahit patay na, kaya niyang buhayin. Ikaw, baka gusto mo matabuhay. <laughs> Pakita natin. Kailangan makita yung before, tapos ito compare ngayon. Wala pang plan siya. Wala pa siyang iron. Hindi pa na-iron yan. So, that's the result of uh, RE5 Brazilian, it can revive the damaged hair. But don't expect that it can um, revive 100% because that is just one sitting. If you will do it twice or thrice, then that's it. Perfect. Next procedure is iron. Okay? So, sa pag-iron naman, this will not going to use um, higher temperature 
doon from roots to ends, okay? Magkaiba, dalawang iron ba gagamitin mo? She'll going to use two iron. Bakit? Kasi different temperature. Doon sa high temp, gagamitin niya from roots to mid, yung hindi bleach portion ng hair ko. While from the mid end, going down, she'll going to use um, another iron uh, that is, um, I mean, um, with, with lower temperature. It's just, ilang temperature yung test? 160? 180 to 160. Okay? Pero dun sa taas, 220 max. Max niya, okay? So, sige, let's do the ironing. Okay. And I want to show to you kung what's the reason of ironing after doing the Brazilian, after blow dry. Ayan. Ayan. Te, ano, tingnan mo nga, Chai. Can you please hold this one? Tapos pakita mo yung ginagawa ni Tess. Ayan. Makikita nyo na nag-release ng fumes. Ayan. Pag in-iron ni Tess, ang daming fumes na lumalabas. And before and after. Ayan. And that is yung fumes ng... Dahil nga, meron siyang formaldehyde. Ito, and with iron mo. Ayan. Para makita niyo yung difference. And, ayan na! Ito na ang final result ng ating Brazilian RE5 product. Okay? Ayan. So, you can see the end part ng hair ko. Ayan, nag-tame siya. Hindi katulad kanina. Super dry. And so, after two days, i-shampoo and condi na natin. Of course, we cannot use ordinary shampoo and condi. We will use the RE5 RE5 Daily Shampoo and RE5 Daily Condi. Yun lang ang pwede natin gamitin. Why? Kasi hindi tayo pwede gumamit ng with salt. Okay? Yun yung mga without salt. Yun ang pwede sa Brazilian para maging long-lasting yung kanyang effect. And for now, it's bye-bye! Paalam! Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, don't forget to give me a like sign. Please subscribe in my channel and follow me in my Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram account. And ito naman ulit sila, Tess! Oh. And of course, ang guapito ko, Cookie! Baby, baby, mo! And si Omi! Hi, Omi! Ayan! So, magpapakasin.